The only surprise, as union officials gathered, was a rare Las Vegas rainstorm. It was a foregone conclusion that they would select Roy Williams, a controversial Teamster vice president from Kansas City, as the union's new general president. The meeting took only 15 minutes, the vote was unanimous, and Williams left, declining to answer questions. It was ironic that the choice was made here in Las Vegas. Some of the major hotels and casinos here were built with money loaned by the Teamsters Central States Pension Fund. It was such loans that led the government to charge the fund had been mismanaged and forced the resignation of its trustees, among them Roy Williams. And there have been recent reports that Williams might be indicted for allegedly offering a Las Vegas land deal to a former senator for a legislative favor. Just this week, the government has again made known its interest in Williams' past. Williams' name has previously been linked with this man, Nick Savella, the reputed head of organized crime in Kansas City. And in court documents this week, the government disclosed that in its investigation of Savella's activities in 1979, wiretaps were placed on Williams' phones, both at his suburban ranch home and at his union office in Kansas City. No details of any overheard conversations were released. Attorneys for Savella have told ABC News they see the disclosure of the wiretaps as an attempt to embarrass Williams on the eve of his election.